you're a recovering PowerPointer and have recently switched from another application like Smart Notebook or just find the floating tool palette sometimes gets in your way, you're going to love how you can change the tool settings on the fly in Inspire. Simply click on this icon right here. And what I can do on the top of my toolbar is I can decide to dock it to the left. So now my tool palette's over here on the left. Or I can go ahead and dock it on the right. Real simple. Or if you want it to look like some other applications you might have, I can go ahead and dock it on the top. And if I see right up here, my toolbar is part of my top menu. This icon is right here now for the options. I could also dock it on the bottom for easy access to get down to it, maybe for students. But I'm going to go ahead and have it floating, because that's kind of the way that I like it. Now if you want, you can check on the primary interface also within Inspire. To do that, all I have to do is go to my dashboard. So I'm going to go to my main menu, go to View, and then Dashboard. I'm going to click on the Configure tab, and then right here is a check mark that says Launch Next Time using Primary Look and Feel. So Active Primary is not gone, it's actually part of Inspire. I'm going to go ahead and close this. We're going to close Inspire, and now ne next time that I open it up, it's going to open up with a primary look and feel. You might find that your younger students will prefer this interface as the tools are sometimes easier to grab and easier to view. And I can see right here, I'm going to open up that same flip chart. I now have my primary look and feel that many of you guys are used to seeing. Enjoy.